Yo, what is good everybody and thank you so much for stopping by the channel. For today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue. No, today's video is not going to be an all-encompassing review per se. I actually already uploaded that video, that of which you'll find a link at the top of the screen as well as in the description below. For the purposes of today's video, we're going to be seeing these shoes in-depthly on foot. We're going to see them styled with a few different styles of bottoms, namely outfits, all in hopes to help you answer the question on whether or not the sneaker here deserves a spot in your room. Rotation. Now, just before we jump into it, I did want to encourage you to go ahead and like today's video and subscribe to my channel with notifications on, especially if you enjoy this style of content. I'm constantly bringing in early sneakers, ones that I know you want to see, so make sure to subscribe to my channel. Also, my clothing brand, LWH Clothing, is set to restock Drop 3, and that includes all of your guys' favorites, the G03 Denim, which sold out almost instantly. Both colors will be restocking, along with the perfect vintage tees, which do feel feature a slight crop, are pretty boxy in nature and are heavyweight, and of course the statement for Genesis Collection, that is the Grace Necklace. This necklace is sold out four times now, and restocking it for the fifth time, and just a little fun fact, in biblical numerology, the number five represents the word Grace, Grace Necklace. I thought it was kind of cool. For the latest and most up-to-date details relating to the restock, make sure you're following LWH Clothing on Instagram. I'm gonna be posting everything that's restocking as well as the drop date and time on there. So go ahead and check that out so you don't miss out. Last thing, if you haven't already checked out my watch company, Aura, these are going to be the highest value time pieces on the planet. Our plan is to disrupt the watch market. We've got state-of-the-art design as well as engineering relating to this movement. I know a lot of you guys already copped the watch. Go ahead and let the people know down below what you think. But with that being said, let's go ahead and jump right back into the subject at hand, or I should say in hand, the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue. Just as a quick overview, the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue is set to release on May the 4th at a retail price of $215. In this sneaker, Jordan brand delivers everything we love about the Jordan 4, this timeless classic silhouette, slightly modernized with things such as the mudguard being a little bit more streamlined, and of course that beautiful Nike Air logo for the heel tag. For the longest time, a lot of people called this shoe the Jordan 4 Military Blue, myself included, as it does bear very, very strong resemblance to that aforementioned sneaker. But once you get these shoes in hand, you're going to be able to tell that there is a slight light color variation, namely in the base layer, got a slight hue of gray rather than a pure white. And the blue on this pair is just a little bit different relative to the military blues. I'd equate this sneaker release to the Taxi Jordan 1s. So if you guys are familiar with those, those bear a stark resemblance to that of the shattered backboards, but much, much more readily available for the consumer. And I do think that's going to be the case with this sneaker here. It just seems like Jordan Brand has really been pumping out huge inventories of sneakers like this, which is actually representative of the current sneaker market, with the shoe having an average resale price of right around $330. That's pretty unprecedented for a shoe of this caliber looking this good with this much hype behind it at that price point and your ability to get them a month early. As I do anticipate resale dropping even further down once he's actually released. I see these going for right around like 250, 280. Now, is this sneaker worth that 250, 280? That's what I'm attempt to help you decide today as you throw these sneakers on with a myriad of different fits, different bottoms, and you guys be the judge on whether or not these shoes are worthy of your rotation. Beginning with outfit number one, the top is the Locust and Wild Honey Perfect Vintage Wash T-shirt. Set to restock at the end of the month, this shirt is perfect in every imaginable way in relation to how it's cut. It does fit pretty boxy and has a subtle crop to it. I did pair that with an LWH sample, which is known as the Patchwork Canvas Denim. This pair is going to be on the baggy side and does feature an extended rise, very similar to the G03 Denim. We're still on the fence on whether or not we're gonna drop these. I love the fit of them, but we're just dialing in details. As you can see, the baggy nature of these pants leads to a covered sneaker overall, kind of subduing the sneakers a little bit, but needless to say whether covered or not, a sneakerhead will recognize what you got on your feet regardless of if they're covered or not. Moving on to outfit number two, I did throw on this beautiful Zara crop satin bomber. This piece has gotten so much wear out of me and was well worth the hundred bucks that I spent on it. I will provide a link down below, but for sizing reference, I did go true to size with a size medium. I find that it fits perfect and I will be providing my measurements at the top of the screen if I hadn't done so already. 
the pants are the confirmed G04 denim kind of been toying around with the sample for quite a bit of time and you guys have asked for it time and time again yes they are confirmed purchase orders in and they will be releasing very very soon switching gears a little bit I did throw on a baseball cap this one is from fear of God seventh collection very very nice quality slightly overpriced but I digress the flannel is from Amber Crombie and is known as their cropped flannel I'll provide a link below to where you can find it very nice proportions with this flannel. It's nice and light, so good for the springtime. Base layer is a cropped white tee, and the denim is from APC in collaboration with JW Anderson. This is known as the Willy Fit denim. In contrast to the loose boot cut pair that I had from LWH Clothing, this pair of boot cut denim is a bit more slim through the thigh, the knee, and then finishes with the subtle boot cut down at the finish. For this next fit, I kept on the same base layer and threw on an Akimbo NY noodle hoodie. I think that's what it's called. Went true to size with this one with a size medium. I really like how this one fits and I paired that with the LWH G03 denim, which will be restocking towards the end of the month. As you can see, it does feature sand washing throughout, is relaxed through the thigh, slightly longer rise, more space in the seat, and relaxed all the way to the ankle with a released hem. I love these jeans, I'm actually wearing them as I film this video. But moving on, I swapped out the pants for something a little bit different. These are the Zara wide leg trousers. I've been living in these trousers. They got the nice pleats out front. They fit very, very good, very baggy but I do find that they do complement the Jordan 4 silhouette. Again, I will provide a link to these pants down below. They're very, very good. And at that price point, you really just can't go wrong. This next outfit is fully monochromatic, keeping it black all the way throughout to really let the sneakers stand out and be that statement piece for the fit. The top is a Stussy Nike collab jersey. I did opt for a size down being a size small. This piece does run very, very big. So for that reason, I did size down accordingly. The denim is the LWH denim, but this time around in the shadow wash black colorway. This pair will be a part of the restock, so keep an eye on them. I changed things up by throwing on on this Stussy beanie, a vintage 90s mini swoosh hoodie, and I paired both of those with a pair of Realtree camo cargos from Minimal. These are very, very fire. They have a slightly relaxed fit through the thigh, but remain pretty straight down to the ankle. Mixing the four with a pair of pants with a slight taper allows for the pants to have a bit of a stacking effect, something worth mentioning if that's something you're into. If you want these pants, go ahead and check the link down below. We'll provide a coupon code to save a little bit of money. For this last fit, I swapped out that vintage Nike hoodie for a black Akimbo hoodie, which is a size large, one size up from what I typically take to kind of have a bit more of a relaxed look. Paired that with a sample pair of G04 denim. I might hold these back till the fall, but again, things are still up in the air with regard to assessing which wash I'm gonna run with for the G04 denim. You guys are seeing the process and the works little side note, uh, do you guys want to see the fitting once it happens? I'm going to be doing that a little bit later this month. I can make it a vlog and you guys can kind of see uh, the adjustments I plan to make. You guys can make some suggestions as well. You guys can give me some real-time feedback on what we're working on for future releases. But anyways, I digress. You guys, let me know if you want to see that vlog. And that is going to do it for today's styling video around the Jordan 4 Industrial Blue. You guys let me know down in the comment section below if you plan to pick up this sneaker and what you guys thought about today's video i'd like to thank you so much for allowing me the immense privilege to get to serve you through making content i really do appreciate you guys stopping by the channel and supporting whether it be through the channel here through the various products through the watch through the clothes it really is the greatest blessing of all and uh it's something i take very serious and keep working very very hard for you all like today's video if you haven't already and i will catch you in the next upload peace and be blessed